two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another show of Relentless Reviews. I am your host, as always, Joshua Englander, and I am interviewing Mike Calandro with the sexy Jason Hooft in the background there with his lollipop or whatever the hell that is. I love it. Uh, so let's uh, – first of all, Mike, you took your time to do this for me. Thank you so much. So I'm going to get to the question. No problem. So first of all, what does 3KB mean to you right now? Where it stands, you've got partnership with G2BO, you've got obviously the YouTube yep. fiasco. Um, where do you think it yep. stands? Do you, <laughs> do you hope to get to 30,000 subscribers maybe soon? Do you think that... I think we can going? do... <laughs> I, I, like, I like to think, I guess it keeps growing. I mean, it is growing every day, small, but there is small growth. <laughs> uh, just like my uh, my acne in, in uh, high school. But uh, the problem is, is that it's not my full-time job it's like a part-time job and i want it to be my full-time job uh, i i'm a video editor in uh, commercials i do the commercials um and i do corporate videos digital signage uh but i have way more fun editing three kilobytes way more fun oh really <laughs> what a shocker yes. there <laughs> let's hope yeah. your jobs people don't see that um so oh, god <laughs> so uh now here's i'm gonna get a little tougher on you why is noob spice you started noob spice a few months ago it's a cool you're gonna say boxers or briefs so i was like phew thank god <laughs> but go on so Sorry. new so noob spice was an idea you guys came up with i think even back to last year if i remember correctly you you held it off for a long while then you said screw it let's go for it um and it's done decently well. It's gotten more and more views. I think a lot of people do enjoy News Bites. But when you consider the competition, including Gun, the Gun Shop, uh, Champ Chong, why do you think that your News Bites is going to stand out from those two or at least be able to still do well enough that you say, I'm going to have enough motivation to do these News Bites as well as our reviews? Any particular reason? Right. Well, A, uh, there's lots of reasons. <laughs> A, um, it, it's so easy for us to do one take, just shoot, tell us our opinions about a story and, or an idea, and it's no skin off our ass. So it, it, at first, the first idea of News Bites was we were going to make it very complicated. We we're going to have two sets mm -hmm. and like two, two camera angles and back to you, back to you, Jay, back to you, Mike, and another news, blah, 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 like that. Uh -huh. But we're like, let's just do, do it on the set, look in the camera, turn the camera on, on and right. just blah, right? Uh -huh. And it's way easier that way. And sometimes I wish that we could do it the other way, but there's no time. It would just be mm. so time consuming. And maybe, maybe one day we'll do an episode or two like that, just for fun. Mm. But, um, well, sorry, the question was, what does it mean now, news plates? Uh, yeah, exactly, compared to the gun shop and to Champ Chomp. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, there's so many, you're right, there's so many news shows on YouTube, especially gaming news. Oh, yeah. I think what's unique about us and the gun shop is that we tell our opinions. We we don't hold back. We are very biased. If we if someone on my show is a Nintendo fanboy, you hear about it, right? Right. If someone likes the Xbox 360, mm -hmm. you hear about it, right? Right. So, like, we're going to be talking about the uh, new Microsoft Surface soon that was just released, the tablet. Mm. And I'm an Apple fan. Boy, I love Apple. So I'll immediately, I'm going to be becoming like de defensive, right, about, yeah. about the, the product, right? Because it's threatening my precious iPad, right? And you're going to hear about that. Mm. And I think that's a little different, right? When you go to um, the Turkish, what was the thing you watched? The Young the, Turks. Uh, the Young Turks, when you watch them, or <laughs> CNN. <laughs> When you watch them or CNN, you know, they just tell you the facts. But Young Turks actually do tell you their opinion, right? Mm. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> They're laughing because I messed up at Young Turks. <laughs> do, does Jason watch that? Jason doesn't watch anything but himself. Oh. Well, he touches no, himself. I, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty – I don't know. Do you watch the Young Turks, Jay? No, he's saying no. He's, <laughs> no. He doesn't. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So, um, yeah, so now let's talk about, again, continuing with YouTube, uh, the partnership deal. There are, believe it or not, there are people that despite having the ability to do what they love and considering how amazing an accomplishment it used to be, now obviously not that much, but, mm. you know, for people especially like me who are on the fence about a partnership because let's say you are in, like me, for example, I'm 18, I'm going to go off to college in a year and a half, right? And uh, I'm debating... 
should I apply for a partnership? Because what if I get accepted? Then I'm going to be expected by a lot of people to keep making constant videos, make them great every time I upload them, and make an all-around well-produced show. And I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, and some others feel like that as well. Is it too stressful to deal with the partnership, in your opinion, being a partner on YouTube? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it's from my point of view. No, I don't think it's too stressful because I'm not like huge. Like I'm not like a, a Philip DeFranco or like Ray William Johnson. I'm not like huge, huge. I can yeah. see why they have stress, but personally, three kilobytes. No, we kind of we're still. I still feel like we're in control. We produce our, our content. We're our own boss type of thing. Yeah. Um, which I, I'm pretty sure. Is, you know the big guys are their own boss it's just like they have a lot of viewers waiting for their next video uh, so yeah i can see why there's some pressure but you know when youtube started you know in 2005 2006 it was you know it was about the the tagline broadcast yourself and you know philip not saying what what phil did was easy but like he'd wake up and go hey i've got gas today you know a million million views whatever yeah right? and it became huge and be, to become a youtube partner back then it was a huge deal, right? Right, yeah. It was huge. Not everyone could be a YouTube mm. partner. Now it's like there's so many YouTube partners and, mm. and people I think can't – everyone at, at ads on all their videos now. No, oh, no yeah. What. Mon like, monetization. Even if you're not a partner, yeah. You can, be monetize, you can monetize any of your videos if you're not a partner. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I think it's hard. It gets harder and harder and harder. And I was mm. telling you uh, – the other day or earlier, okay, <laughs> we about, talk all the time. Uh, a, <laughs> we talk all the time. Uh, a Google meeting and how they're saying that every minute, 60 hours mm -hmm. gets uploaded to YouTube. That's a lot of content for viewers to go through, a lot of content to get to the good stuff. So people like you and I were making this great content mm -hmm. and not everyone's able to get to it because they, they get so tired of sifting through all the crap and then they just like, ah. Because you've been, you've done it before, right? You go on YouTube, you're like, uh, video game reviews, Max Payne 3 review. Yeah. And before you know it, you're watching dogs dance. You're watching <laughs> cats lick the camera, right? Yeah. Like, ah, just happened. Or, or stupid you stuff. Know. Or stupid stuff like where know. channels are liking videos, right? And you say, I don't care yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, it's so, so much content and you just it, people's attention spans like that right so if right. you're not there in front of it's, it's then it's so hard. forget about it <laughs> so <laughs> I, I totally agree and um so any favorite youtubers to mention any at all uh honestly i know i'm you're gonna think i'm a bullshitter but uh guns for hire because i just like his attitude and then his like his rage and like, oh i love him too yeah when he explodes all over my face. And I also like uh, Kasim G. Mm -hmm. And I think he's hilarious. I like Jenna Marbles, even though a lot of guys find her threatening because she's really good looking and funny. Mm -hmm. um, I think she does great content. And she, somehow it, it seems so down to earth and simple and Bush League. Mm. Like, like it's like her camera in her bed with her dogs. Mm. But it, she's like the most watched female yeah. on YouTube. And I think, I think there's a reason for that but yeah i like those guys and i like you of course joshua oh Relentless wow yeah. you heard it yeah. here first like, everybody <laughs> yeah you heard it here first all right Go watch it subscribe and like the video i'll send that recommendation to my college list we'll see how that goes yeah, they'll, they'll kick you out as soon as they see my name they'll kick you out they'll <laughs> <laughs> go like what the hell is a name like colangelo <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um uh, so now I'm going to get to a more personal question. Uh, what got you interested in video editing? I mean, you went to school apparently about that kind of topic. You majored yep. in learning about that. A lot of people hate that job, but there's a great market out there for people who are great at it. And But yeah. a lot of people hate it at the same time. What makes you so interested in it? What about it? you know gets you at that keyboard you want to start messing around you want to click down things do whatever what is <laughs> that my explanation is my explanation i love it i love it i love the explanation it sounds so dirty the way you put how it how are you so goddamn happy <laughs> wanting to do that for a living um well i'll tell you what i hate is i was uh, a production assistant for uh, a weekend and i was on set and I hated it. I was just waiting around, waiting for this actor to show up, waiting for this piece of equipment to work. Mm. I wanted to be a sound recordist, right? I right. thought, like, oh, I'm just going to record sound, and I'm all about the sound. I love sound in films. But the actual process of going out there, recording, and waiting around 
for 14 hours a day. No. It's just ridiculous. I hated waiting around. Mm -hmm. So I figured back to the drawing board and then I discovered post-production and it was like a beautiful, without getting too dramatic, mm -hmm. it's like this beautiful jigsaw puzzle where all the pieces are there and done for you. You just got to connect the dots mm -hmm. and make this amazing product because I don't, I don't, you've probably seen raw footage before, like stuff unedited, oh, yeah. right? I work and with it like, all the time. I have to edit my stuff all the time. Yeah. And I, you know, I find it fascinating, but there are some times where you really want something to smoothly work and you know it's not going to work and you have to get rid of it or yeah. you have to just compromise, you know? Yeah. Well, that, that that's the hardest job of an editor is sometimes we get married to the footage, especially when it's our own work. Yeah. Um, and you have to be decisive enough to say, listen, I love this. I think this is hilarious, but out. It doesn't work. It's just not part of this video. It's way off topic. It, this video is way too long. People are going to lose the attention. Mm -hmm. Blah. Right? Yeah. So that's what I love about it. I love being decisive and deciding how to put it all together because mm -hmm. the raw footage, it looks like garbage. It sounds like, what is this guy talking about? What is this guy why it makes no sense and yeah. my job is to make it all make sense and entertaining and it's such a huge difference and i love being part of that process oh From yeah point a to point b it's like night and day and i think it's gotten so much better for video editors because of the new technology with all the new programming it's gotten so much more fascinating so many more ideas you can use with i mean when i worked with i video edited a lot of my stuff all the opportunities you can use with my with the videos you have is incredible and i know exactly how you feel about that what uh, software do you use on yours? Well, you know, I used to use, uh, you're going to laugh, but I used to use a Pinnacle Studio. Uh, <laughs> so that's, <laughs> so that is, I will say. Honestly, that, I never used that. I don't know how what that is. <laughs> it, it, it is so, it can be so good sometimes. And yeah. other times I want to punch the keyboard. I want to punch everything. I yeah. finally had it and I said, I'm done. It, it, one day I was doing my Men in Black 3 review after that. It, it all went to hell and I uploaded eventually as you yeah. probably know but I had to go to Windows Live Movie Maker which okay. is what I'm going to be using for this which isn't bad I, until a lot of people tell me about Sony Vegas but uh, I like I actually kind of like Windows Live Movie Maker shockingly I think it's kind of simple it's not too simple and you can do a lot with it there's a lot you can use with it you know is so. it kind of like Apple's iMovie like sort of like that but for Windows yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've used Final Cut Pro before. I've used uh, iMovie before. I they're more they're more complicated, and I'm I'm gonna sound dumb, but I just think sometimes there's some things that I really got confused with. Maybe it's just because yeah. I'm younger, but it is a lot simpler for me to use Windows Live Movie Maker for whatever reason, and it still works. It still gives me good content, and I still am able to use it in a very yeah. good sense. So. I think it's still good. Um, people would probably disagree in the comments below, but that's for sure. It's a very f interesting topic. There's no question. <laughs>